A police detective in Florida City saying he was forced to fire on a man today with deadly results. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is covering the investigation live at Florida City Police Headquarters. Amber. And police are standing by the detective tonight, Rick and Rudabe, saying he had every reason to fire his gun. Police say the man he shot also had a gun, but they're just not saying what he did with it. It's not trouble maker. Matter of fact, he grew up here. Levi Simon on the defense after he says a detective shot and killed his 23-year-old son, Jovan. I said, Jovan, outside. She was outside with no shoes. When I get there, the same guy shoot him and try to tell me to throw away. I said, I got my son there, I got to see. Police say it started Wednesday afternoon when two detectives conducting a criminal investigation near Northwest 14th Street and 2nd Avenue confronted Simon at a nearby apartment. When the tension grew, police say one of the detectives opened fire on Simon, who had a gun. According to Simon's family, he's been in trouble with the law in the past. Simon, the same guy. Arrested I arrested him three times before. And all, all the charges got dropped. And all charges got dropped. One of them, he was like carrying. One, one for having a weapon, and then one he was driving with no license. And the other one, he had something that on, he had a substance on him. The same guy. Same exact person. But all the charges weren't dropped. We looked into Simon's past, and he's been arrested a number of times for a number of reasons, including aggravated assaults with a firearm. Simon was currently out on felony bond. Back out here live, Rick and Ruta Bay in Florida City. Police aren't giving much information on that detective who opened fire. We just know that he's been on the force for the past three years. Reporting live, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News, tonight.